is a luxury many of us take for granted, but the truth is nearly 30% of homes right here in Kansas City on both sides of the state line just don't have internet access. And that can have a major impact on students, as you heard her mention, who are trying to get their schoolwork done at home. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial shows us how one company is working to get internet for 7,000 students. Think of being a student. You just got out of school and now you walk multiple blocks to a Burger King or a McDonald's just to do your homework. That's a reality in our area and Sprint says they're trying to change that. You can't do your homework. So then when you go to class the next day, your teacher like, why you don't have your homework done? You're like, well, I don't have internet. School districts across Kansas and Missouri provide laptops or tablets for students to take home. Most homework assignments are online, but some students still don't have the access to do it. Yeah, go to school and walk to Burger King on Blue Parkway, or I walk somewhere, I go on the bus, and then go chill at a friend's house till like 9.30 or so, and then wake my way back home. The goal of the One Million Project by Sprint is to give access to one million students. Today's announcement by Sprint CEO Michelle Combs would provide internet access for nearly 7,000 students across 17 school districts. Soon, Best Buy will also open a teen tech center in Kansas City. We provide individual access, so we provide access at home, and those tech centers are space where students can come together and they can access to different type of digital tools such as robots or whatsoever, which will be useful also for the future uh, of their education. Senior Tyree Wilson said her grades were dropping before she got Wi-Fi. She says she would rush and do the homework minutes before class or come to school early. Now things have changed. My grades have increased. I've been able to hand in my work on time, and I also don't have as much stress. In Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City, nearly 30% of homes have no access to the internet. Junior Kiana Turrentine was so thankful for the service, he wrote the CEO a letter. He says while many take having access for granted, it will help thousands of students. There's going to be a lot of a lot of kids on the same ground level because they have internet now and we'll be able to, you ain't going to fall back in the assignments as much. It's going to help you improve because you have uh, internet to study and all that good stuff. It's going to help the community a lot. Now, I did ask the Sprint CEO with the T-Mobile merger if this program would continue if T-Mobile bought Sprint. He says that it would. Reporting in Kansas City, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.